But I hope you enjoyed that previous Losing the Guy run. Right now, ah, thank you, thank you. Right now, we are going to show off something really special. Uh, this was brought to us by Raven, who found this boss actually broken in code in pieces within the original Illusion of Gaia game. And it just was never put to full development. And the thinking there is that it was pretty difficult to implement without causing a lot of lag within the fight. Now, he's taking a few creative influences to turn this into something that's fun but difficult. And we've had all our playtesters go through it to make sure it was ready for a big showcase like this. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and start on five, four, three, two, one, go. So I plugged the Illusion of Guy randomizer a little bit on the previous run. One of the very fun things to share right here as a gift to us from Don't Bagu Me, the original playtesters, we got custom sprites like this. So this is my sprite. I don't know if you see the resemblance or not. Uh, we have other sprites for other people. But something that's also coming up is custom sprite implementation for other people. So in the randomizer, you can choose how many statues you want to collect before you face Dark Gaia. We chose four here, but for the marathon, I ended up killing all the bosses, so I would have max HP. This is hard mode, so my max HP is set to that. You have even less in extreme mode, and I'm not doing extreme Apocalypse Gaia, because that's not really marathon safe, and we'd be here for a whole lot longer than 15 minutes. So, we're going straight to Apocalypse Gaia. We're not really getting to show the full randomizer right now, but... I hope you enjoy what's coming up. I'll probably get quiet after the original section ends just because it could require a lot of uh, focus. But definitely shout outs to Don't Bagu Me for creating the Illusion of Gaia Randomizer. I urge you to search for the Discord. Uh, and if you want to find the site to generate your own seed, I believe it's iogr.app. You search for that. I want to say that's a website for it so you can get started with your own randomized seed. And as the fight kind of goes on, I'll try to make a few points you have five herbs for this fight. So phase one is going to be the same. We have the Comet. And if you love that song from the end of Illusion of Guy, here it is again. This is my favorite tune for the game. Now, because of the difficulty of this fight, Raven has programmed the fight to, once you get to phase three, if you die, you have a checkpoint at phase three. So you don't have to go all the way back through the first two phases again. And any herbs you brought into the fight, you'll keep. So if I use all five of my herbs and then die, I'll actually get all five herbs back again after I get to the phase three of the fight. All right, so that is phase one. Nothing too different there. Might be slightly salty if I get a three cycle on this one and didn't do it in the vanilla run. That was four hits right there. I might actually be a little more cautious than, cautious than usual here to make sure I don't take any damage. I'm going to need as much HP as I can get. I usually run, as I said, on extreme, but it doesn't mean hard as a walk in the park. All right, so that was a five. That's good. Open your mouth. All right, so that is phase two, and welcome to Apocalypse Gaia. Three more phases to go. First phase, we're gonna get two Gaia heads right here that we have to destroy, and these way more aggressive red bubbles. So you're gonna see me do some damage, hopefully take care of these bubbles the best I can and then Aura when these giant red orbs come at us so we don't take damage, because these are homing attacks. I've been a little early, don't hit me, okay. One head down. 
one to go. Now I'd say after this phase, we've got the craziest looking phase. Phase four. Where we got a lot going on on the screen. So through all this, we have to uh, do damage to the head floating around on top of the screen. Wait, a little risky there, riskier than I wanted to. Oof. Get me out of that. Oof. All right, now this is phase five. I'm gonna take this time to use all these herbs. Another thing you'll notice that based on difficulty, the herbs refill a certain amount of HP. So I only get four HP back as opposed to eight from a vanilla herb. You'll also notice as this fight goes on that the music speeds up as you go, making it even more hectic for you. So to damage this final form, you have to destroy all the other floating heads that are orbiting around the main one. Oh, thank you for not hitting me. <laughs> That ninja ball right there coming at me from off the screen. <laughs> okay. Speeding up a little more music. As the fight goes on, we have more and more heads we have to destroy. take damage right there. All right, we're getting pretty close to the end, actually. I don't want to jinx it, but I was expecting this to take a little longer. Time. And that is Apocalypse Gaia. Chi Chi. Thank you, thank you. Woo. All right, so hopefully that's tasty looking to all of you that might we're on the fence about getting into the randomizer but stuff like that is an amazing refreshing thing to get from this project thanks again to don't bagu me who created this and spent so much time working on the illusion of guy randomizer thank you so much to raven who's done some of the programming on things like the boss and other mechanics of the game thank you so much to brian who has got this on the web and working as a very good function there and thank you to all the play testers for putting all the work into this to get this to where it is. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much more time going through the credits and everything, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching again, and enjoy the rest of the marathon.